I really want to wear my wig so bad, but the way how this time be so hot is just like, girl, don't do that to yourself. It's Thursday morning, ready to go. Also PMSing, which is so annoying. Wasn't ready yet. Oh, today, I just decided that Last night I had such a hard time falling asleep, so I just decided that I'm taking the absolute latest train today just so I can get to work right on time as opposed to getting there early. It's supposed to rain too, and I'm just so annoyed to be honest. So annoyed. I made some cereal that I'm gonna have, and then I have some coffee. already have like lunch in my bag and stuff last night I spent so much time editing a video that I'm finally done with glad that I'm actually done and one of my favorite websites is having a sale so anyways I'm gonna eat my cereal and then leave out so I have everything here with me ready to go yesterday I finally called or I finally was able to call the doctor's office and tell them about the shot. So now, even if it's itching, I can actually itch it. Also, we went to the Home Depot last night on our way home and got that AC back there because God knows the way how it be hot, you can't just be sitting down without an AC. And I feel like last night is the best I've slept since um the time got hot because it was just mad cool oh my gosh so love that for me out here in life making progress anyways i just have a few minutes before i have to go let me see which train i'm getting i'm getting the latest possible one i did that yesterday and i just decided to do that today too so i'm getting the one that comes at 7 25 so 7 25 i can leave in like 10 minutes or so so i have this issue yesterday um doing about a situation to me and he was pretty much saying you know sometimes even though you have a friend or you are a friend and you want to be honest sometimes it's better not to and i've never been a person who felt like oh my gosh don't be honest with your friends or whatever sometimes the truth is harsh and you know people don't want to hear it because it just be like that but that doesn't mean don't be honest as a friend right um so my friend there was a little situation and you know i was telling her mom about it and I said to her mom you know I think it was really careless I think it's very careless it's very careless it's all the same thing um and last night my husband was saying to me you know that's not something that a mom wants to hear about her kid even if it is the truth and I just feel like wow this just shows me that I'm different from every other parent out there in the world because I feel like if somebody came to me and said to me boy your daughter did this and i think it's very careless i just feel like if it is careless it is you know um what's due to caesar is due to caesar if that's the truth then that's just the truth and it's sad but it's true which means i'm gonna have to deal with it afterwards but then i realized that you know not everybody looks at life the same way that i do and uh, yeah my outlook on life is just pretty different and I've always known this, but last night I just realized the different level of my outlook on life being different from everybody else's. So I decided that I'm going to apologize to her because in the situation I had jumped to conclusion and I'm going to apologize for that and then apologize for being honest with her mom because maybe her mom was embarrassed to hear that. Even though I feel like I still feel like, you know, it was a careless move what happened but just because her mom feels the way how she feels I'm gonna apologize even though i still feel the same way how i feel i just don't want to go into details about the whole situation because you know it doesn't just involve me i'm just giving my part of it right now but 
if it was a different situation, I'd definitely say the whole story and like let you guys chime in. But you know, this is still somebody who I care about as a friend, even though I'm going to be approaching things differently from here on out. But I still have to remember that there is a chance somewhere out there in the world that she might watch this video and I don't want her to watch it and feel bad all over again, even though it's probably too late for that. Because obviously, I'm not a good friend. So I heard. Anyway, I'm about to go. I literally just left work. Um, well, I just got home from work and I'm not going back. And chances are I'm going to have to really sit down and talk about this tomorrow to really go in details. But right now it's about 9 o'clock, almost 10 o'clock and I'm so tired. It's 9.47. So tired. So I think I'm going to talk about it tomorrow. My manager's trash.